What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We got hungry calves behind us that are ready to eat, so we gotta get feeding them. Let's get into it. Alright, I'm gonna mix up the milk now and show you guys how I do that. So first we start by putting hot water in the bottle. Not too much to start out with, about half. And I got milk replacer here for them. About three quarters of a scoop of milk replacer. And we have it figured out so that's about 10 ounces of powder. And that's what they need. So I carefully dump that in the bottle. <clears throat> so now the powder is all in the bottle. It is at three pints right now. And when I put cold water in it to make it not so hot, it'll be right up to the four pints. Then after it's cooled off, screw the top on tight and shake it. Ooh. I shake it really good so there's no clumps in it that'll like clog the nipple on it. There. And that's how we mix up the milk. So now we can go feed a calf. And a few minutes later, we have an empty bottle here, and a happy cat, and a happy calf that thinks she wants more. You can eat your calf starter. She's been eating her grain pretty good, so she really likes that. On to the next one. So I got this calf fed a bottle. My brother came out and gave them all grain, so they're good to go. Instead of bottling this new calf, we ended up giving her a bucket of milk, and she took right to that and figured it right out. Yeah, good job. So, I prefer to bucket break them. It takes less time, and they can do it on their own pace then. These ones, we did not bucket break. We kind of tried, but they were a few days old when we got them, and they were already bottled for a few days. And when you get them pretty much newborn, like this calf, they haven't been bottled a lot, so then they under then they go right to the bucket. Yeah, good job, girl. Before we're done out here with the calf chores, we have to wash all everything everything up. So I already washed the bottle and the nipple. And for the calf that drank from the bucket, I just used soapy water and soap the bucket all up. Especially important to keep everything clean, especially with calves, because they do carry a lot of germs. And if one happens to be sick, it can spread to the others. So you want to make sure everything is 100% washed good and clean. And when the calves outgrow their little uh, individual pens and they get all put together, we always clean out their pens really good. We put lime down to dry them up, and they sit for a little while. It just helps keep everybody clean and healthy around here. And 
And just like that, dishes are all done. So this is our milk room, we call it. I have, I'm able to have my milk replacer, some other stuff we might need. Um, we have a sink, hot water. We have a spigot down there to hook the hose up for the rest of the animals. I'm able to keep my horse grain in here. Other supplies <clears throat> for the horses and cattle down there that we might need. Medicines and stuff. Um, we're able to run a little heat in here when we're in here. Has a good light. Uh, we have outlets. And just all sorts of stuff. Some cabinets to store stuff in. And just kind of a nice place that <clears throat> we can have it warm. We can mix milk up in here store stuff that we don't want dirty and just other stuff like that so we built this room probably four or five years ago now something like that and it's one of the best things we've ever done really the reason the calves all have blankets on it depends if we put blankets on them or not but the weather's been kind of up and down like 35 40 one day and then like 25 the next so it just kind of helps them stay warm through all these fluctuations. So that's why they all have blankets on. Oh. Can you give me a ride? Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna go for a ride now. That was our 1980 Yamaha Enticer. Okay, chores are all done. Calves are happy. Just, just relaxing now. So, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And we'll catch you in the next one.